Hey, it's Andy from SmartWP and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be checking out WordPress 5.5, which is just around the corner. It's coming out in August. Uh, right now we have the beta and we're gonna check out some of the new improvements they've added, including changes to Gutenberg and a lot of other core functionality. So let's just hop into the WordPress 5.5 changes. Now the first thing we're gonna do is actually update our site to WordPress 5.5. Since it's currently in beta, we have to do this with a plugin. So we're gonna to go to add new, type in WordPress beta, now what this plugin will do is allow you to install the nightly betas of WordPress. So you can see here we have a new tab for beta testing and you can pick uh, point release nightlies or the bleeding edge nightlies. So we're gonna pick bleeding edge because this is still an early beta. So we're gonna hit save changes and you'll see now we have an update to update to WordPress uh, 5.5. Now I do not recommend doing this on a production site. This is purely if you wanna test it out before it comes out in August. But if you're watching this video, WordPress 5.5 may already be out, so we're gonna be checking out all of the features. You can see here it still says 5.4 in the uh, loading screen, but let's just head over to making a page and we'll look at all the new changes. So there are some modifications to Gutenberg here, some of the design elements. Uh, you can hit plus here and of course find your blocks, but now there's this new uh, block browser that opens up on the left side here. And the first new feature is block patterns. So now themes can bundle block patterns. So you can see here, uh, we're on uh, 2020 right now theme, so you can see there's a, some default uh, patterns made. So depending on what theme you're using, there could be patterns here. I think this is gonna be huge with theme developers. So let's just add one for an example here, image side by side. Uh, and let's go back and add another image in. And I'll show you the second change here. I'll just pick a photo. And now you can actually edit your photos in line. So if you've ever cropped photos in WordPress, you know it's kind of a cumbersome process. They've made it a lot easier on WordPress 5.5. So let's hit crop here. And you can see uh, now it's not really letting us do much, but if we go in here, we can pick the aspect ratio and do the, or do a zoom. So let's zoom in a little and we'll pick a different aspect ratio. And it'll actually let us pick the crop here. And then if you hit apply, it'll resave the image. And then you have a perfectly cropped photo to your liking. Now in addition to these changes, you can also go up to preview now and select uh, mobile previews. So tablet, mobile, let's add a title here. So this is great if you do a lot of uh, responsive workflow stuff. So let's go back to our dashboard here so we can talk about another change. This change I absolutely love. You can set plugins and themes to auto update. So you can see here we have a new column for enable auto updates on each of our plugins. So if you click that, the plugin will auto update. And you can of course do the same thing with themes. So if I go to themes, go to the details, enable auto updates. I think this is a great addition to WordPress, especially if you have clients who don't wanna log into their site a lot and don't wanna see a bunch of updates. You can uh, select the specific things you wanna update for them automatically. Overall, a great improvement. And in addition to all this, we're gonna to go to the front of the site and we're gonna to go to the new sitemap, which can be accessed by going to slash sitemap. So if you use Yoast SEO, you probably are familiar with sitemaps. Uh, sitemaps are basically fed to Google to show Google all of the pages on your, on your site. Very simple. Um, usually you have to have an SEO plugin to do this, but of course now it's all built in. So this is great if you wanna get one less plugin out of your site and let WordPress handle the XML sitemap aspect. And you can see here it has all of our posts and things like that, as you would expect. And I'm gonna open up Chrome here to show you one last change. And that's lazy loading images built in. So if I right click on an image here, you can see in the source code, there's now a new tag that says loading equals lazy. This is actually a new tag that is added in Chrome and a few other browsers are starting to support it. Basically the browser itself will handle the lazy loading. So if you're using a performance plugin to do this now, uh, it's just one less thing that a plugin needs to do now that it's supported natively. Uh, definitely a great addition, especially speeding up sites that have a ton of images on them. Now, of course, this is an early beta, so some of these features might change on the final release. This isn't even a release candidate, so some things might change down the line, but overall, I think this gives you a good look at all the features that will be in WordPress 5.5. I hope this video was helpful. Remember to like and subscribe, and thanks again for watching. See ya.